Yeah. And I know they're not doing as good anymore now. Like, a lot of them are kind of, like, Yeah, they, it's kind of had its, its run. But that's because a lot of the quality has gone down. It's I Look, people are like, oh, the superhero fatigue. There would have been no superhero fatigue if it wasn't for the quality of Marvel movies and DC movies going down. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the quality going down and them struggling and fighting to keep it together, Marvel was keeping it together with inclusivity and women are better and let's make sure that all the women are stronger than men and fuck all this. And there this was a that. lot of those moments. Oh where you're my like, God, bro. Come on. It, it killed it. It killed yeah. it because now it's like, well, well, fuck you if you guys are offended. And it's like, we want to make great movies. Like, I don't go in the movie going like the guys are better. I've never gone in the movie going like the men are better than the women. Never. I go. I mean, they are. But yeah, but they're, they're just how they are, like in general. But we don't go in there thinking that. We just know it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we go in there like, let's just see the movie. And if the girl comes out being the best one, there's no second thought about it because it's a fucking movie. If the movie's good, like that's just the way it is. But unfortunately, like the Marvel movies lately have been like forcing or like, no understand girls are better and they're stronger. And I'm like, but it doesn't make, you're not making it make sense. You're forcing it in here. And because of that, it's not working. Just you know how it's going to kick ass. Yeah. And that's it. Like it, it, it doesn't need to be like a highlighted part. Never. In the movie. Like, it doesn't just like, I mean, it's been done multiple times. Like kill bill. You're not looking at the bride. Like, Oh, such a strong woman. Like you're just looking at it like a badass character. Out for revenge, fucking everybody up. A hundred percent. And that's a, the, the cool thing about that is like, now you're basing them based on the artist and how good of an artist they are, the character that played. Oh, what type of character did they bring out? Who were they playing? You don't have to always play a strong, independent female woman who has no flaws. Like, what unique and what's unique about that on the movie? What brings it out? And what, what, what makes you a great artist by just consistently playing the same character? Now, we want to see... The same thing. We want to see struggle. We want to see realness. We want to see you change character. We want to see Shoshana and in, uh, Inglorious Bastards. Like she was another oh, badass yes, person. Yes. Who, oh like, my gosh. Kind of gets overshadowed by like Brad Pitt's character yeah. and them. But even if the, like Brad, Pitt, even if the bastards never showed up, yeah, she oh, would have accomplished she... exactly oh, what they yes, did. Yeah, and that's what's crazy is like that's another like badass female character that. She didn't have to be like, look how st stronger, much more do I, can, yeah. I can do it than men. And it it just came to show like, yes, the men are strong, better here, here and here, right? And she knew it, but she was like, but I'm still going to get it done. I'm going to get it done my way. Maybe I can't do it like that or like that. And what did it, and, you know, spoiler alert, but what did it show at the end that it didn't matter, bro. She was going to get that shit done regardless. Yeah. Like, they didn't, she didn't need any of them, even though the men showed we're stronger at all these things. They just happen to be doing the yep. exact same thing in yeah. the same place. But exactly. Neither one of them knew that <coughs> yeah. the other one was doing that. And shit. those are just great characters. And that's what we need more. And that's what the Such fall. A badass oh, movie, man. big time. That was the fall of Marvel for there. The fall of DC was not inclusivity, inclusive, inclusive. Yes. Inclusive. Uh, inclusive. You guys know the word. It was uh, <laughs> trying to keep up with Marvel. Um, Letting everybody get to your heads, uh, not understanding what kind of universe you're building. First of all, Warner Brothers is known for dark and gritty and taking risk on movies. Like that's what Warner Brothers is known for. I don't know what the fuck you guys were thinking. Like we want to make more money faster, and then guess what? Y'all have made less money with all of these newer, all the recent movies that have come out after Snyder. You've made less money combined than Man of Steel, not including Aquaman. Like that's crazy. That is crazy. And then you think it was because of the comedy? Um like trying to be more like Yeah, they're trying to be funny. more Marvel. They're trying to be more like, oh, we need everybody. We want everybody to love us. We want to build this universe of it just there was it didn't work whatsoever. And it showed. And you should have stuck with your guns because guess what? You haven't made more money than Batman vs. Superman. Unfortunately, you I want to bitch that Batman Superman. Oh, Batman Superman didn't make the money y'all wanted. It didn't break a billion. Everybody was like, "You got to understand, having the name Batman and Superman, it should have broke a billion." I'm like, yeah, "You're you're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right." But it almost made 900 million, right? Which is a fucking lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. There was no buildup besides Man of Steel. That was it. There was nothing behind it. Oh well, Avengers did a billion. I'm like, yeah, there was fucking like eight movies behind it. What the fuck are you talking about? The fact that Batman vs Superman was the second movie out of DC. And it made eight, almost nine hundred million is fucking wild, and people are like, "It's a nah, but it's not considered a win." All right, cool. So you fire Zach, and then Justice League does five hundred and fifty million, 
And then uh, Suicide Squad, uh, the 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 uh, the Suicide Squad does what like 120 million, 110 million. Uh, Shazam does what 60 million. Like all these movies start to flop really, really fucking bad. No one wants to see them. You're making boring ass movies. You're just you're. There's no unique creativeness. There's nothing. There's no heart behind anything no more. It just feels like you're pumping it out trying to create these attractions that Marvel was doing, mm-hmm. and it worked for Marvel for a little bit. Yeah. For a little bit because we were in love with these characters that they built very, very well. They introduced you to a lot of characters that like weren't like household names and then made people like care for them, uh-huh. and care about them. Well, uh, people love to blame Zack Snyder. They were like, oh, well, Zack Snyder rushed the universe. He got Batman versus Superman after Man of Steel. And I'm like, yeah, it is rushed because they were like, oh, we're introducing all these characters. But I'm like, Watch Zack Snyder's interviews. He's like, well, I wanted a Batman solo movie and Wonder Woman solo movie, Man of Steel 2, before we got to anything like this. He goes, but the studio wanted to rush to beat to get to Justice League. So we that was the plan to do all this to get to there. Like, this was Warner Brothers' fault, and they're just pointing the fingers like, nope, look, Zack Snyder did this. It's crazy all the behind the scenes shit like that. What was that uh director's name that was with uh on Real Ones? Um, he did a suicide squad david ayer yeah like how he was talking about everything like behind the scenes of like what really well that's just how i'm depicted because that's how they want me to look Mm -hmm. and yeah it's just crazy like we don't even know like half of the story no and it sucks because i'm hoping we do get the suicide squad uh cup but I, i doubt it uh but there's so much that goes behind the scenes that we don't know yeah and it sucks because it's like james gunn is a great director and unfortunately, he's going to go down very, very bad because he jumped in a he jumped in the middle of like, ugh, fuck, Snyder fans. Hmm. Snyder fans are dedicated. Here's the thing. Warner Brothers created this. This is Warner Brothers fault. You guys created the Snyder fans. Us. You guys gave us Snyder. You guys gave us the almighty Snyder. And then you got mad at us when you fucking canceled them after his daughter dies and you fucking fire him and hire Josh Whedon to remake Justice League into a fucking Avengers movie, a Marvel movie, which then goes off on Gal Gadot, goes off on Ben Affleck, goes off on uh, Ray Fisher, harasses them, gets some fire, gets some black blackmail from from uh, Hollywood. All while I still blame Snyder for the fail of Justice League, which is fucking wild. <laughs> like, I don't... I. And then y'all, then y'all go, okay, we're going to bring Snyder back. We release the cut. And then he goes, no, we don't want nothing to do with Snyder. And then he goes, okay, we're probably going to bring the Snyder verse back. Then you guys bring James Gunn in and then go, James Gunn goes, no. And then y'all show us Henry Cavill back. Oh, we're getting Superman back. And then you guys go, psych, we're not doing none of this shit. <laughs> James Gunn goes, we fired everybody. We're starting a whole new universe. I don't need anybody. We're not going to rush it no more. But guess what? Superman Legacy is the first movie. Okay, we get a Superman movie. We're not rushing it, right? Except there's like fucking forty characters in that fucking movie already. Y'all gave Zack. Y'all gonna get. Y'all gave Zack Snyder the. I mean, who's gonna be the shit. new uh, Superman? Fucking. Uh, the, I don't even know his name. I forgot his name. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's uh, he's from? Uh, great actor. He's a very very good actor. Like, here's my thing. The I'll look him up. I don't think anything that I think James Gunn's gonna make a good Superman movie. I do think so. I I I think. James Gunn will make a good movie. I don't think it's going to be amazing. I don't think it's going to be mind blowing. I don't think it's going to be the best. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a really good Superman movie, right? Mm-hmm. And I think it's going to be good enough to start a new universe. I really do think that he will build a great Superman movie that'll be a great foundation for a whole new DC universe. Unfortunately, none of that shit matters because the majority of people who go watch the DC movies now are Zack Snyder fans who want. Zack Snyder or who want dedication to Zack Snyder because here's the thing we're all willing to give you I mean like it just you're showing that the fa- what the fans want they're oh DC fans aren't showing up because we want what we want mm-hmm. what you were giving us you're giving us shit that we don't want and now you're mad like oh the real DC fans aren't showing up no we're not showing like your Marvel fans are showing up to see DC movies D- DC fans aren't showing up because they don't want to see that shit <laughs> that's the truth so unfortunately I think James Gunn stepped into a shark pit, bro. Just a fuck. I mean, a bad I'm, situation. A, a very, very bad situation. Like it's just, it's not gonna help him. I'm, unfortunately, if the movie, bro, if the movie comes out to be one of the best movies ever, it doesn't matter. I don't think. I think people aren't going to. Uh, David Cor- uh, David Corn Sweat is the new Superman. He looks familiar. 
He is on uh, Pearl. We own this. The politician. Uh, we own the city. Uh, Hollywood. Sunlight. House of Cards. He was on House of Cards. Instinct. Uh, that's it. Um, I don't know how the fuck he looks familiar to me. I, I don't know any of those. But nobody's gonna top what's his name, Henry. Henry. Oh fuck no! Like he's Superman. That's Superman. I'm like, sorry. That's Superman in Mission Impossible. That's Superman. Like, yeah, yeah. There's like you can't un- like, uh, yeah, that, Thor. Like yeah, you can't yeah. see him in anything yeah. playing a normal that's, guy because that's Thor. That's Thor. Yeah, I hundred percent agree. And Henry Cavill's always gonna be my Superman. Ben Affleck's always gonna be my Batman. Like that's just what it is. Like they're the best on screen ones. I'm always gonna fight for that to the end. That's for sure. 